The Johnson & Johnson vaccine is what's known as an adenovirus vector vaccine. So this is not entirely new technology, unlike the mRNA vaccine. So they have been used in things like Ebola vaccines, HIV vaccines, and there have actually been tens of thousands of people that have already received an adenovirus vector vaccine for other diseases. But it is a different technology than the vaccines that we're used to in general, and they're also different from the mRNA vaccines that we've already seen for COVID. And what they do is they use an, an adenovirus, which is a member of a family of viruses more than 100 different types, and they've chose, chosen one that does not seem to cause any significant disease in humans. So they take that virus and they use it kind of as a Trojan horse to get the genetic material from COVID into your cells. Um, the way all viruses work is that they have to get their own genetic material into another cell in order to reproduce. Um, so what they've done with this adenovirus is they've taken out the, the genes that the virus needs to reproduce itself and they put in the gene for that spike protein from COVID. Both the mRNA vaccine and the adenovirus va vaccine work in a similar way in which they, pr they prompt your cells to produce the spike protein. It only produces the spike protein. It doesn't produce the entire COVID virus, so you cannot get COVID from these, either of these vaccines. Both of them do end up producing mRNA or prompting mRNA, which then produces these proteins. But similar to any mRNA that, have, that you produce every day in your body, those go away after a matter of, of hours and they don't stick around in your body. 